of identity. Mm -hmm. I am being rejected. Mm -hmm. and that throws them back often to an early memory of right. young rejection. Very, very young rejection. But if God put you there, then it doesn't matter how many times you're rejected because <laughs> God put you there. Yeah. So you can kind of overcome that. Mm -hmm. Great. All right. That's how the levels work. That's how the levels work. <laughs> All right. Well, that's my first, my ten minutes done. I did pretty well. <laughs> Bravo, <laughs> Robbie. <laughs> Thank you. I'll go now, and I'll leave you alone. Okay. So, um, any more questions we have about this model? Or basic model before we. I mean, so again, with the idea here is we're going to do a, as Robbie says, a deeper dive. That that's kind of the, you know. Uh, a first, a, a first uh, presentation of the levels as they're basically, you know, we usually think of them. So, makes sense. Any clarification, or shall we? We have we have a question in the back. Please wait. Please, uh, there's he's coming, and you and it's, uh, it's always nice if you stand up because I can hardly see you. There you are. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Just, I'm just we talked. You talked about alignment and yes. you know being congruent. Yeah. I've seen some people. So that their purpose is impacted by their environment. Yeah. So I'm presuming it's really important that it's top down when you're looking for. It's an interesting question because you know, uh, the, the, you know, we we talk about it hi hierarchically, uh, but clearly, you know, in any in any living uh, hierarchy, things go both ways, right? So sometimes you have a massive change in your environment that is going to change your behavior dra dramatically, that's going to require completely new capabilities, that's going to challenge all of your beliefs, and, and can even you know, open a space for a new expression of your identity. So in that case, it can go bottom up. What, what we would say, though, is typically, you know, if, if you could change environment and it will not necessarily change you know, all the way up, a, 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 you know, a certain type of change would. But clearly, if you change your identity from being a, uh, you know, a, an engineer to a salesperson, you're not going to be in the same environment. You know, you're, you will change environments. You're going to have to change your behavior. You're going to have to develop new capabilities. You're going to have to develop new priorities, etc. So we would say that a change at that, at that level wouldn't necessarily, you know, uh, uh, let's say cascade down. If I, but if I, if I'm a, a salesperson and I move from London to New York, well, it's a new environment. But I still have the same behaviors. I'm a sales I use the same capabilities, the same values, same identity. So then we're saying that that the the reason that we would say it tends to be hierarchical is that 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 the natural you know shift is going to be top down. But it doesn't mean that's the only way that things change. It can go, you know, bottom up as well. It's just that the degree of change to go bottom up is probably going to have to be much greater. Yeah, and also with your question, there is also some interesting ideas where indigenous cultures often have their environment mm -hmm. and their sort of, if you like, spirit or vision quite connected, like a holy mountain or something like that. So there's also sometimes a kind of circular argument that yeah. the environment and the vision somehow, yeah, kind of encompass each other. Yeah, I think we have another question. Thank you for these good questions. I have a and question about name? my name is Ruth. Ruth. I always like to start with identity first. Ruth. <laughs> yeah. right. I have a question about the values. Yes. The values sometimes from my perspective, are very core and not necessarily yeah. change 